Disney World is not known for its thrilling and super scary attractions, but sometimes certain people get a little bit worried. I can't help myself. Sometimes things are scary. So we're going to talk about something that scares Jessica at one of the Disney parks and maybe some other instances where we might admit we're a little afraid. Welcome back to I2I, the place where we talk about anything and everything Disney. My name is Kyle. And my name is Jessica. And before we get started, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our content. And this is Disney Who Our Eyes, where we talk about something in the world of the whole Disney spectrum that we want to talk about this week. Not a lot of like big happening news. We did trivia night where we had like Disneyland Paris celebration for the 30th. So we don't want to cover that again. Right. But there are always things on social media about Disney. Yep. And so this week I watched a video which reminded me of our Disneyland trip. Which was very recent. By the way, we're putting out vlogs for that here on this channel, but on our second channel, I2I in the Park. So go check those out. Yes. Quick little plug for you. So while we were in Disneyland, obviously we rode the famous Ferris wheel. Um, Mickey's Fun Wheel. Uh, now it's Pixar Pal Around. That sounds right. That's what it's called now. Either way, it's the giant Mickey Ferris wheel. Which you were super excited about. Oh my gosh. This is like, I have dreamt of riding this for years. I never, it, truly in my lifetime, never thought that I would get to ride it. So I was so excited. But, Obviously not being from California, I didn't realize that there were two different tracks on this but ride. What, what is it about a Ferris wheel and particularly that one that made you so excited? Kyle, that is like the iconic thing when you think disneyland no when you think disneyland you think Asshole. that ferris wheel no you think that mickey ferris wheel you see all the people's pictures all the posts it is always with that ferris wheel in the background and i was so excited about it you know they make cookies and mugs and all this crap about it i was like yes wait they make cookies about the ferris wheel yes i didn't know that they have everything about this ferris wheel it is an icon so you were super excited to go see it stoked and ride it and then we got in line and what happened no in line i was so stoked i was like way ready to go you started getting worried in line i remember just maybe a like a tiny little smidge so we chose to go on the one that moves right because there were the slides two slides back and forth yeah there There's was the, the stationary bucket stationary yeah and i thought well if we're here we might as well do the one that slides yeah. duh <sighs> that was a fatal error that was a big fat fatal error. It was fun. I loved it. It was terrifying. So we got in another in a car with another couple who had ridden it before. Who and they were embarrassed to be with us. No, they weren't. They, they were so them. sweet. The the wife was the same way as me. She was like, "Yeah, the first time I rode it, it was terrifying. You just you don't anticipate how quickly your whole bucket's just gonna." Go. I thought it was quite relaxing to be honest. With and then you. you're like way at the top you're like great our bucket's just gonna and then you're gonna be on the ground and we are gonna be dead so that was petrifying and so what sparked this this week is someone else we saw, i mean it happens all the time they post you know images and videos of people being on this ride for the first time and like panicking and stuff like that so that you don't is, realize how scary it's gonna be because when you're like waiting in line you don't hear people screaming you don't you don't I like, heard them. I thought that was from the Incredicoaster. <laughs> I didn't fair. realize it was from the Ferris wheel. That's fair. So you just, you get in all unsuspecting. You're like, oh, it's a little Ferris wheel. Everybody can do this. Let's, let's, let's be real. I know that it scared you more than you thought it was, but it was it really that terrifying. Like on a scale of one to 10, how terrified were you? In that moment? In that or, moment. Yes. In that moment, I was a seven. Looking back, I would do it again. So it's probably oh, yeah. down to like a three. Yes. But in that moment, because I'd never done it before, that shock factor of, yeah. holy crap, this is really high and we're moving very quickly back and forth, back and right. forth. It it was a lot. So what that got us thinking about, because there's very few times for most adults, let's say, you know, children, that's a different yeah, story. Yeah. Adults, because you know, you go to like Disney World, Universal is known for their thrill rides and yeah. make them scared. And there are a lot of rides at Universal I refuse to ride. The, the thing, out, the stuff out of you. So they, you know, have that kind of corner of the market, that niche covered. But there are still some times, like on Disney's attractions, like that one, for instance, where you're like, oh, wasn't expecting to nearly wet myself, you know? <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, because we go into it thinking, okay, Slinky Dog Dash. Right. We expect that level of thrill 
I mean, if you don't like heights, maybe Tower of Terror would not be your thing. But I, I've got. So what we want to talk about is maybe some other like times on attractions or whatever. Where you've almost wet yourself. Is that yes. what you're saying? Yes. But what we want to talk about is like maybe like more frightening moments or times. Or even like continuing to this day. For me, I hope I'm not taking your example of it. I probably am. Every time you ride Space Mountain. Is that it? <laughs> I'll save that one for you. You share you share what you feel about Space Mountain. So, I'm a nurse. Most people know this. I, I don't shy away from that. I spent almost a decade working as an emergency department nurse too. So, I am very near and dear to head injuries, neck injuries. And every time I ride Space Mountain, I feel like I'm gonna get a neck fracture. Because you don't prepare yourself for it. We've ridden this enough times this that you should know. This man makes me so mad. I know it doesn't every matter, turn. Kyle, it doesn't matter how how prepared I am. I even wrote it. The only time I wasn't scared was when the lights were on. So I could see where the track is going. Right. That ride petrifies me. Every single time. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I do it because I love my husband so dearly. And I want to make him happy. But he is the only reason I ride that. I absolutely hate it. And I feel like I'm seriously going to get a fracture when I ride it. That is not what I was going to bring up about Space Mountain. What were you going to bring up? The fear, and, and it's actually relevant. We talked about things this week, seeing on social media that kind of sparked this conversation. I saw Disney's tester thing that they put on all their rides, not just their roller coasters, that limit, like show you where somebody can stick their arms out to and not hit a structure, like especially on a roller coaster. It's like this little... Okay. plane or tool that they use. So you're saying if I put my arms out on Space Mountain, my arm's going to get chopped off? No, they, they they shouldn't because this is the tool they use to ensure that's not going to happen. How tall so I is saw the body, the mannequin that they use? It's used. not a mannequin. It's actually like this big circle thing. But how tall is there? I don't know. But my point is, is that no matter how much you trust Disney, how much you believe that they've done the research to know that you're not going to have your arms chopped off, there's still that hesitation when you're on Space Mountain and you go, Oh crap! Like just out of instinct, there go my arms. Like you just feel yeah, like because you're in the freaking pitch black in this ride. But you can see, you know. What can you see? You can't see nothing. You can see your hand in front of your face, and that's about it. You can see things whizzing past, and uh, you're like, oh, there's a there's a very close bar right there that nearly took my head off. Just can't. That is a scary moment there. I'll, I'll throw out this. Probably the very first time you were on the dinosaur ride and that dinosaur... Oh, that is scary because it's so loud. And it's so close to you. Yeah. Like, like, that's the first time that, like, I actually remember when I were it. I was like, oh, my God. This is, like, up in my face. And I was not expecting to be like, I know this is fake. Like, it's it's the same thing, like, with the buckets and the Ferris wheel. It's the same thing with Space Mountain. I know all this is done to make me feel like this, this one, but it's fine. Well, and it's kind of like it's Tower of Terror, my very favorite ride of all time. But that first initial drop, especially if they drop you a significant amount the first time, you're like, we are not stopping. We're about to die. See, I don't, to me, I don't even consider Tower of Terror like frightening anymore. Like to me, it's it, it, just. That very first drop is It's for just me. fun. Oh, right? uh, I mean, again, my favorite ride, right. but it is still that very first, you know, some, because it's that the randomized track like well, yeah when you get that question, one yeah. that goes boom. i'm sorry what does it go again nope that was one <laughs> thing um yeah it, it just makes me feel like woo, this is going through the end of the earth that i mean i i just think we've done that so much that now I, i've known every combination so i'm just like oh, i don't go. remember any combination I just and then like the one it. in this is california adventure like it's more fun yeah that is. one was less scary to me than than the one in Hollywood Studios. Yeah. Hollywood Studios. I don't really consider like rock and roller coaster scary. Nah. Although the initial takeoff. Well, it's, it's not even the takeoff. It's just the fact that you're in that loop. It's a double loop. Spoiler alert, you know, for people that haven't ridden it. But like you just. It's been open for like two decades. Yeah, but you, it's like you, you know, like when you go through a loop the first time, you're like, oh, wow, that's, that's what that was like. But then you just kind of like stay in this loop. Yeah. And so there's always that. I think I will say if there's a frightening moment on that. That's the ride where I'm always worried I'm going to lose a bag or something because you're oh, in the loop for, for sure. so long. That's the ride that I lost my magic band. Yes. Remember, it came unclipped while I was upside down and I caught it with my other hand. Yes. And I was like, oh my gosh. Yep. This is back when magic bands were like the, the thing you had to have. As opposed to Tower of Terror where people actually try to put stuff on their lap to watch it like fly up in the yeah. air and stuff. Like you're actually just trying to save it in that moment. Yeah. That's the, you know, the beauty of that. Yeah. <laughs> there. I'm trying to think. So you never did, and I never did it because I was a chicken, the alien counter 
And no, I did do did Alien you get, Encounter. Do you remember that? I like really vaguely. I just remember it being loud, dark, and scary. Mm. That's that's really the most. Now, but you know what is scary? Yeah. Now that I, I know, think about I know it, what you're about to say. I know exactly what you're about what, to what? say. What? What? No, you're talking about Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Yes. At Disneyland. So we did that in Disneyland. That obviously. is the scariest ride Disney ever had. That is so inappropriate. Oh my god. We call it inappropriate. I don't want children thinking about that and being scared. It's no reality. I'm just saying, like. So what she's referring to, for those of you that don't know, haven't been to Disneyland, worked for, you know, privileged enough to ride Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Or weren't lucky enough to not ride it. unlucky enough to ride it when it was in Magic Kingdom or other Disney parks. Um, there's a scene where you go to hell. You know, excuse me, you know, that's a family channel, but we'll just go ahead and say it right there. Um, and it's, it's like got a, the devil's kind of looking stuff in there. And it's, it's a little... It's a little you, tense. I re, so I remember as a, as a child. Getting on that ride, and I had to ride by myself because uh, we have a family of five, and so and there were so two you seats. must have been old. I mean, you I, were no, like I was 10. not. I was not. I was probably like seven. Well, then it wouldn't have been a family of five if you were seven, because your brother would have been That's born. That's true. And anyway, I remember I had to ride by myself, and my parents assured me that I was going to be fine, and I came wailing and screaming out of there. Sounds right. And it, I just remember that. When you talk about frightening moments yeah. at Disney, like that to me is what always sticks in my mind. That's, I mean, that's fair. That ride is terrifying. You know what else is a, a good example? What's that? Of a not scary ride, but the safari. The time that that um, was an ostrich or an emu that came. E what, and what? An emu? An emu? Do, honey, where do emus reside? I don't know. On Earth? <sighs> Okay, where, what country are we when we were on the safari? I don't know, Africa? Yes, honey, Africa. Emus are Australian. Okay, so for non biological people. I'm sorry, I just. We wouldn't have known that. I'm an, ow, I'm an animal person. Okay, so, so this big, scary bird that looks like a dinosaur came running up to our car. And remember, I was on the edge and it was like right there. She could, like, keeps like trying to stab me in this moment. That's what those ostriches do. That's <laughs> what they don't do. Yes, it is! Oh my gosh, it was right by our car. I hate And what birds. was it gonna do? I hate birds. Puck your eyes out! It was looking in my eyeballs. Kyle, it was like this. It was literally like, hey, I see your eyes. That looks like a good snack. Help me. Okay, if you want to throw that in in frightening moments in Disney. So is there any like frightening moment of the Haunted Mansion, of either version that you can really think of? I mean, it's I don't like when, our, when the ride gets stopped. But see, to me, that ruins like the, the feel of it. Like that, nope. that takes me out. Dutton of it. does not for me. Because they, they come over the voice. They come over the Please get remain here in your ride. No, but it, it freaks me out because like sometimes when you're on that backward slope right. and you're like, how do I get out of my car relaxing, if we have to be evacuated? Actually. That's relaxing to me, honestly. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Uh, yeah, there's not really. I, I would categorize, at least for me now, Haunted Mansion as more disturbing than like. Yes. Not, not scary. Not, not even just not even now. Like but just in general, because you know it's just things that are unsettling. They're not really like, oh, like I'm. Right. Now, they do pop the first time one of those things popped up in the graveyard yeah, scene. That was like, oh god, you, you know, like that kind of thing. But it wasn't yeah. like frightening, frightening. Sure. So I'm trying to like run through the list of other frightening things. Uh, seeing Phineas and Ferb at. <laughs> I hate Phineas That's and Ferb. That's just because we hate them. I, I know there are Phineas scary. and Ferbs out there, fans galore, but I, I, I can't stand that show. Figment. I think it's based... I, I know y'all like Figment. I, I don't. I will, I will. Figment sucks. That's not frightening, though. Yeah. How is that frightening? Yeah. He's ugly. He's weird. The first time you heard, like, the big imagination chorus when the lights come on in there, Imagination. It's literally my nightmare. You know what else is my nightmare? What's that? Oh, my gosh. In a big blue world. This is not frightening. We're 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 getting away from the topics. At, <laughs> Which at I end. hate it. I think the only oh, you know what your mom would say. <laughs> Speaking of frightening, I think honestly the most scared that anybody has ever been at Disney World was his mom on Expedition Everest when it goes backwards. No joke. I literally thought I'd kill my mom. Like we had convinced her that this is rides fine because you know it, it makes you feel like like you're going up backwards. And probably and the first time you are do, going backwards. when you're going backwards, it makes you almost feel like you're going to go upside down yes. at the centripetal force of it all. Yes. And I remember she, we split up because we were in single riders and I got off my ride and she was right behind me. I was like, oh no, I killed my mom. I, like, she, there's no way she makes it off this alive. Like, I, she has never let it was Kyle day one. Down. It was day one of the trip. 
So that was probably, if you want to talk about frightening moments, yeah. that was in there. You almost was, got murdered. Was there, like, was Cal California, not California Screaming, Incredicoaster, was that frightening to you at all? Yes. That was very scary. That was that but I did it two times. It was just really fast. Did you do it two times? Yeah, I did That's it two right. times. That's right, we did do it two times. Um, it was just so fast. I wasn't anticipating right. that. To me, that's a ride that would be at like Six Flags, mm -hmm. not necessarily Disney. It was, it was probably one of the more thrilling ones that yeah, I've done. Yeah, more thrilling than anything we have in um, Walt Disney World. I think that's basically it. Yeah. Like that we talk about frightening moments and that was more than just rides and stuff. That was like experiences and, and things like that. So if we're like missing anything that you guys can think of, uh, frightening moments that you've had in a Disney park, rides or otherwise, we want to hear from you in the comments section below. Because I know like, like we said, Disney's not meant to be one of those like sheer thrill, frightening places. Right. It's more of an overall experience, but there are still some times where it gets a little scary. We want to know where you were a little scary. So share that down in the comments section below. What else should I do? Like I said before, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our content. And that's all we have for you in this edition of I2I. Until we assemble again, may the force be with you. And we'll see you real soon. Bye, guys.